been uh, caught uh, in the cold because they uh, had to assemble their players. And the break was longer than uh, we like to see it in the Champions Cup because we have such a tight schedule. Um, if the teams show up too late or the referees are not ready, uh, it just messes up with our whole schedule. And uh, the teams, the last game is not at 12 o'clock, but at 1 o'clock. So here we go, Molde against Newark. Molde from Newary, uh, New Norway <laughs> in uh, blue and uh, Newark from the US in white. And uh, Molde is in ball possession. Going in uh, to the pass to the open side from the middle of the pool, but uh, heavily defended, and uh, the ball was uh, taken away from uh, Molde by a Newark player. Call from the referee. Okay, so far it's already rough. Yeah. yeah, it's a rough game. It will be rough. Playing outside area, blue free throw. Yeah, it's a free throw laying for Blue. Outside area, blue free throw. We have already two Molde players laying uh, left and right of the basket, but they have to get up again. There is one Molde player left. He's lying in the middle now on the open side. But the ball, uh, the pass didn't break through. Was intercepted very uh, cool in a cool way, and the interceptor uh, got it and broke free. Uh, wanted to uh, counter through, was stopped by a Molde player, was stopped by a Newark player, and Molde is back in ball possession. That's a uh, back and forth here. And uh, wow, I uh, have to show very much respect for the play, for the game of uh, the Newark game, uh, Newark team. Um, they are putting a lot of effort and uh, knowledge in the water here and give uh, Molde quite a fight in these first one and a half minutes of the Champions Cup 2017. Call from the referees. Free throw. Free throw against uh, New York. Attacking equipment. Blue free throw. Okay, it was a crip uh, uh, hold of the mask, probably, or the fin. And again, uh, Molde attacking. But uh, we are two minutes in the first half, and no goal from Molde, uh, which is a feature if you ever played against Molde. And. Uh, US players uh, even succeed in uh, breaking free and swimming through the pool. But stopped by Molde and it's going back again. We're back again at the basket of Newark. But they uh, defend it heavily. Yes, I mean, it's, uh, I'm mostly impressed because it has, it's a very uh, fast game. And uh, the US is really uh, cold enough and fighting uh, strong. And it's not an easy game so far for Molde. Now they have a counter attack. The Molde players are running to position, defender, goalie, but uh, the attacker from New York come from the open side, pass it, and they try to build up a way going over the middle. But we have one of the attackers of Molde already falling into the ball, which is in possession of the ball. Uh, let's see if New York could, be, could continue to be in position of the ball now. The Molde player got the ball is now starting a counter-attack with three of them. This, uh, the goalkeeper is alone against, against, sorry, against uh, three goal. players of Molde. So it was goal for Molde. Which number? Let's see. Blue number 11, 1-1. One, one. Blue number, number 11, 11, goal. 11, which is Jon Reid. Hekdal. So, 1-0 after... Um, three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes, yes. But still, uh, everything is open. Still everything is open. I mean, uh, the team from New York is uh, really um, on, trying to be on top, while well, now they lost, they dropped the ball right there. <laughs> They have three uh, Molde players, and I think that's a penalty. Let's see, because I saw, I saw for me the shoulder in the basket, but I'm not sure. White free throw, holding. Oh, okay, well, holding. White What's free throw, holding. holding. Let's see. We go now uh, in a free throw against Molde, and one of the new work uh, went into the basket. Of Molde, he snatched the basket from yes. Molde away. But it's taking too long, yeah. and I don't know for how long he's going to be able to stop. And I, I will not break Molde through. Is, no, Molde is quite confident. I mean, that's not really. Here we go. It just distressed the goalkeeper a little bit. 
but uh, the rest of the team is doing a great job keeping the rest of the new work team away, so that didn't really make a big difference. So uh, again, uh, Newark in fourth possession. Yeah, uh, Newark won 2-0 against Florence. Uh, ah, 3-0 was it? Okay. When? Um, the first game. Newark. I think I want. Um, yes. I'm not sure. I was two or three zero. Yeah. Now let's see. Um, Molde is in counter attack and pass it. And now it's two Molde against the goalkeeper. Oh, that hey, was hey, hey, hey. that's quite rough. What? We we had uh, that was interesting. There was a deck referee screaming. Yes. So uh, blue number twenty nine two nine. Can you uh, stop the clock for me? Okay, I think there is a call is, uh, from uh, the, the referee. Right, number 38. Yeah, oh, that's quite a uh, a call from a referee, from the head referee uh, in this in this case. What he are stopped you doing the here? game, holding the other player. Doesn't matter. You're holding the other player. It's not allowed. No, I saw what you were doing. You were holding that player. You have a warning. Yeah, if you see that again, you sit there. Yeah. How many, if a referee is saying something to Yeah, but that's, that's one Warning of the rules. Holding. You shut up and you do what exactly. they Exactly. If the holding. referee told you what you did, you listen three, and you eight, shut up morning, and uh, you take I, it. I don't have the number 38 here in the, oh, let's see, Newark, where is it? 38, 38, oh, here. Julio Lopez. Julio Lopez has a warning for holding a player. Uh, apparently in the surface is not something we could see because that was a deck referee. And, and it was quite a call from uh, Manuel. Yes. He's, he's normally he was, quite yeah, a... He was quite quiet. Quite yeah. free throw. But he was um, yelling uh, outside. We could, we could hear him. So, we have... Four more minutes to go from the first time, and now we're in the half of Molde, but not for long. Molde is in a counter attack, just pass it, and now we have Newark defending and Molde recovering the ball and trying to go through the defender, literally. <laughs> I think it's getting tougher now. Yes, it's quite tough. I don't know. Uh, Molde normally plays tough. White free throw. But if we can't see, normally you don't, you can't see. But when you yeah. can't see this in wood, that means that when you are physically in the game, it's not nice at all. Because when we see it now through the cameras, that probably quite physically intense right now. And it's uh, it's it's. The, the teams sometimes are pushing themselves up and up and up in the aggression level because if one team feels being uh, 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 aggressively attacked they uh, um, play aggressively back and it pushes itself up and up and up and up so we see more uh, uh, of hard playing not unfair playing but harder playing so here again another attack from Molde into the basket of uh, the US and there's one Molde player uh, occupying the basket of Newark. Not anymore. Not anymore, and it didn't succeed. But uh, here comes the second wave after the first wave was fended off. And we have 2 minutes 30 left in this first half of uh, the US Newark team in white against uh, Molde from Norway in blue. And you're watching Champions Cup 2017. It's the 29th Champions Cup. And uh, that's the first half of the game. There was a call from the referee Ruffing. in the water. No Rough free throw. playing free throw against Newark. And already a Molde player occupying the defender place under the Newark uh, goalkeeper. Dangerous position, but it took too long. He had to leave the, his place and uh, now the attacker is trying to punch through the defense of Newark. It's a physical game now, you can see it. Uh, the, they will feel what they do right now. Call from the referees. And seems to be another aggression. So, uh, we don't so. It's a oh, it's, it's a Show penalty. Basket, penalty. 
Yeah, I saw the shoulder before. I didn't want to mention it yeah, because it's. I've seen uh, it before, but I yeah. saw it several times before. There was a shoulder, and normally the referees just call it when it is in an actual attack situation. Get out of the pool. So, uh, well, we have a penalty situation. And actually, it looks like the US players don't know they have to leave the pool for a penalty. And they have to decide quick uh, who is going to be their keeper. Uh, I think Mole like is already into uh, knowing who will do the attack. So, penalty, here we go. Well, that shouldn't be really a problem. No. So the Molde player is coming from above at the wall side, close to the wall, going down. Oh, that, that is, is an attack fault. to the this head. That's I mean not working. They Should I have mean been a call before. This is not the first time I see the people from New York attacking the head. Well, of maybe the he gave the, the advantage. No, no, this no. definitely. Yeah. But uh, this is a fall, a, a fall that I've seen already a few times. But from he the went directly for the head. That you exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah what you say? He, went he didn't even go for the no, for no, the. No, no, no. And that's I don't, I don't know in the U.S. guys. I know that you are quite new, but here this is um, forbidden. It's a no-go. Yeah. This is a no-go. This is. Uh, and uh, it was. Uh, it was it's not dangerous like. dangerous because you can really um, injure. It player. was not a talking situation where he, no. he turned away the head of exactly. the attacker, but uh, that's why there's advantage. But uh, I think there we see the Molde player complaining in this yeah. case, yeah. because he looks like he has injuries in his face. He's showing the referee. Sorry? This guy is having a problem with something. Do you have a problem with that? That's an interesting question. What's happened? So it's always this point when the people start complaining to the referee. It, 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 when they didn't see it, how should they decide if you tell them something happened? What is their base of decision making if you tell them, well, something Pulling bad happened? Can you uh, move away so we can continue the game? We are trying to hear what Manuel is saying. So it looked He's to me. He's asking if this play, if this the player can continue playing, but we, we don't have a side to the pool right now, just the uh, audio. Uh, probably it's uh, it's about this attack to the head. Mm. Yes, yeah, it was sure. a player. It was a player. Sorry. Are oh, there still a player? There's one more. Mo one more. Ah, uh, one Ready? of the the attacker uh, from the penalty is out of the uh, pool. He has an injury in the eye, probably from what we saw the grip to the head. Um, yeah. Okay, so the uh, Molly was allowed to bring one more player in. Uh, in this case, and we have now an attack uh, from Newark to the pool, uh, to the basket of Molde, which is quite heavy attack, and uh, which was a good chance for them to score because Molde was a little bit out of uh, their rhythm because one of their players uh, who executed the penalty was off. The, the problem is that Molde has the impression that the people from the US is getting a little bit rough and they're going to get rougher, and Outside, that's not going to be fun for anyone. So we have now three minutes break in between. So thank you very much, Joey Weber. He's one of uh, the players of my team. He just told us it's great to hear the referee, and we think so too. I insisted on that. We didn't have it the last years, but I insisted uh, um, on uh, this realization, technical realization here at the pool, because otherwise we in the commentator box don't have a means to know what's happening at the uh, uh, referee and that's like uh, that's like half uh, uh, the game you know the decisions from um, the Orca is coming in they're making fun and it's almost almost impossible to stay serious when they do their stuff um, really funny guys lovely guys and it's always great to have them here and it was great uh, to have Samuel Gaviria presenting uh, on the uh, Underwater uh, Rugby Academy. And uh, we have everything uh, on uh, videotape and we will present it to you in the coming uh, weeks. Um, but uh, everybody who haven't seen it had missed something because uh, what he showed us on the data and insight he has into coaching and training his team, the Orcas, and what they changed in their training uh, concerning how much they swim, how much they do uh, on land and what they do on land, it, uh, they, they rethought a lot of it. 
and uh, had, bis had better um, outcome in the games. So it's super interesting to see what's happening there. And from and which perspective they are training. Yeah. yeah. Completely different from what we're and doing here. Me, in another me, world. It's yeah, it's another world. I've never seen uh, any kind of presentation with this deep insight into a structure and uh, the dynam um, dynamics of a team and how you train it to get uh, better results. And well yeah. and bio with biomechanic analysis and uh, very, very interesting. So, 45 seconds to go for the... Mm, Second half of Molde in blue versus Newark in white. We have so far three goals for Molde in this game. One being uh, an, on a penalty. And uh, now we have just uh, 20 something seconds. So yeah, um, we will put uh, the presentation of Samuel Gaviria, head coach of the uh, Our Colombian Orcas online and you will be amazed what you see there and it was a great part of the uh, On Water Rugby Academy to see his presentation and his insight in training and me as a coach, uh, me as a licensed coach, I was in shock and awe when I saw what he had to tell us about On Water Rugby. Here we go back again in the game, new work from the US in white against uh, Molle from uh, Norway in blue, and it's a 3-0 lead for Molde. So, um, back in the, in the game, and already we see uh, an attack um, from Newark on the Molde basket. That was a right. Did you see that? He was holding his yeah, head again. He was again holding, holding uh, the, the head of the head of the player. I don't, know, I, I don't like that kind of uh, fall because I myself have so many injuries in the head and in the neck because of freedom. rough game like that being a goalie is even more difficult so you know win because you are the better not because you you know injure someone in the process great okay tall goal from Molde he came from the open side, got the ball, just goal, pushed Goal, number up 11, 1-1, one one, blue, goal. Let's see who was number 11 on Molde. Mm, that, that the same one, John Radar, or, yeah, but something like this. I'm not Le good, sorry, I pronounce it. Uh, I will tell you where we will post uh, the presentation of Samuel Gaviria in the break. We go back in the, um, in the game. So very, uh, 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 yeah, like uh, someone said here in the live stream, it's very good energy. Um, we have here from, uh, oh, nice feed. We have very good energy we see from uh, Newark in the water. They, they go in with a lot of push and they uh, push quite <laughs> into the defense of Molde. But uh, Molde is very quite Im unimpressed and uh, they know how to play. Uh, these teams that try to play rough and uh, put an impression on you and uh, Molde in this case is not impressed um, by by the game uh, of Newark but I have to say I respect what uh, Newark does here it's uh well yeah they're trying to give up with the speed and the strength of Molde but I think that Molde um, it's a bit better off technically and tactically and um, they are they're winning fairly. I mean, they're playing uh, a bit better. They have more ball control. They can they swim through with the counter, and they really force the goals. I mean, the the, the mistakes by by building up the waves of attack. So it's really now oh, the yeah, counter attack. Fast game. That was this is the kind of counter Go. attack that yeah. the Norwegians. Uh, especially more the um, yeah, blue number 29, 29, 29, 29 from Norway is Christian Schäfer. Very nice swimming. Christian Schäfer was at the Underwater Rugby Academy too and told us a little bit about working out and uh, good swimming. And he showed us some fun, fast swimming right here. So back again in the game. And Molde is again in attacking mode at the basket of Newark. And I think they uh, want to make a point right now because this is uh, decisive. But here, uh, Newark broke free with the ball. Is now in the middle. Yeah, Lost the ball again to Molde again. And uh, th th you see some, oh, some little... Was was oh. Ooh. 
The Interesting uh, game. They, they didn't have control. Uh, Molde stopped the attack from the uh, US player, but didn't have uh, control of the ball. Yes, and, and it was the could, could have been a, an accidentally yeah. goal. Um, I see some uh, um, um, it's breaks. amazing the paces, yeah. the, 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 passes, the, yeah. the passes at the front, even if the, the, the players are still not there, so that really uh, speeds up the game a lot. Um, your work also is doing a good job for taking, getting the, oh, another score for yeah. Molde. I mean, Goal. which number now? Are you here in the second. Eight. And a timeout, please. Number eight, this is, oh, how you pronounce Time it out. in Swedish? Why? In Norwegian. Uh, the O with this line across. White timeout. Yes. Goal number oh. eight, blue. Sorry, guys. How you pronounce? You, you know? Who? Let me see. The, the O with the, the line across. How do you pronounce that? This. No, Ovind. Ovind. Sorry. Can someone o tell us? Minus. Well, they cannot. They cannot write down where are you supposed to speak it out. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> well, he was the one scoring. Okay, we have, we have a timeout. Time uh, I guess from uh, Newark. And how many? How much time do we have left? I don't. I haven't seen it. Wasn't paying attention. Well, about four and a half minutes. About four and a half minutes left from the second half, and Molde is winning 6-0. Probably they're even a little bit frustrated because they lost 1-0 against uh, Riksu. So yeah. that probably. The energy will Time. be in the water as well. So Manuel uh, uh, does a really tough job here. He, he looks tough, but he just uh, makes it clear uh, it's not his job to listen to complaints. He has to make decisions, and the decisions have to be accepted by the players. So we have a cluster here in the middle, uh, down in the pool on bottom, and a call from the oh, referee. Oh, okay. Thank you. Ah, okay. I'm getting here. Uh, it's like a Norwegian uh, uh, pronunciation lessons. It's pronounced like the French. Blue free How you pronounce? Okay, free throw. It's like the French. The uh, French. Like uh, the French. Uh, how you pronounce uh, the French? Uh. Uh. Or uh. the German. U. Uh. Ah, okay, perfect. This I can. The U. Uh. So that was Urebind, I hope. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. So another tag here from Molde from the open side, and it's wow. It was another a first goal. was a push. And he didn't uh, have a, uh, uh, the, the, the no, hole he blue. needed. Number and 29. Then he waited a second and then Number he pushed Number the 29. whole arm into That's the basket. Christian Schaefer again, another score. Nice play from Christian Schaefer. Yep. He's quite an add on uh, in this game for Molder. So, 7 0 and counting, and four and a half minutes to go. So, thank you very much. Um, Esten Kaldol for telling us uh, how to pronounce it and you have the same name yeah. so <laughs> very funny thank you very much uh, it's always good to have a little no, lesson it's not the same name it's the no, same, it's same letter yeah, yeah same letter that's what I meant sorry okay back in the game uh, here another attack from Molde and uh, two against one and uh, oh yeah he goes he goes uh, he didn't succeed it, it was not well executed because the way the we see him be yeah because the um, goalie turned around so it was difficult then yeah Mold is still in position of the ball, passing and trying to build the next way of attack, getting the legs of the goal in the head and now trying to go the close corner, pushing the goalie up. Then new goalie recovering and um, took position, but you still have the Mold play right underneath and one of the defenders trying what Call happened from there. the referee. I, it's, 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 uh, don't misunderstand Penalty. me. Holding against the wall. Penalty holding again. The wow! Win. Again. Penalty. Well, you know, I'm a goalie myself, and normally you try to play. Guys, one uh, goal, I try please. to play always fair. Give but us the ball. Give him the ball. If worst comes to worst, even if you don't do it on purpose, eventually, you, sometimes you know you're going to be pulled up, so you hold, and you hope the referee don't watch you, don't see it. So it's a risk you take because it's going to be a goal. Come on, time, guys! At move least. It. You play sometimes with things like that. Okay, that was a, a pronunciation from an ex-Molde <laughs> player. Thank you very much. Okay, penalty against Newark from the US. Always interesting. And the Molde player is going uh, close to the wall, down on the head of the Newark player through the 
pedaling uh, feet and he tries to punch through and it, it sounded to me there was a call before the goal but they showed the goal goal number one and two. i didn't see a uh, uh, fall play number one is Bert Irige. Irige. Bert Irige. i hope i'm pronouncing right the, the lorena a after the this uh, champions cup you will have a perfect norwegian <laughs> and you are prepping finish <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> Okay, back again in the game. Uh, here, Molde against uh, Newark. Call from the referees. We have a cluster on the surface. Roughing. It's a Free rough throw. play. Free th new free throw. Oh, they start now. Game. Start now. This bickering against each other. Right, Even the game 23. is over. Um. Here we go, Molde, and there's one uh, player waiting on the um, close side and one waiting on the open side to get through the ball, but uh, it looks like we have another cluster tackling away from the basket. There's one minute, 45 seconds, and I think New World is really wishing this game to be over because it's getting tough, it's getting really physical. Yeah, Molde is not playing around anymore here. Even the, the, the goalkeeper couldn't be there. Yeah, that's it. Just went up. So now that is the breaking oh, point but of but New York. 9 0. But they hold very Blue good. Number I mean, three. Go. But we see Bob number Robinson. Three. Three. Number three is. Oh, again. Oestein. Oestein. It's, it's also the question if the, the Ö plus the Y is OI or I and the E I I. Oestein. Well. I think we have. I think we have to go to Norway to, to learn proper Norwegian. <laughs> so, um, Newark tried to touch Contra the mall there. Molde, three guys and basket and uh, no goal goalie the on goal the basket. It's completely chaos around the basket um, right now. What the mall player here well, does? The mall the player was f fixing himself into the basket. Yeah. <laughs> ah, another uh, another penalty. Another penalty? No, no. Yeah. Hold on. You think? Yeah. The sign from the referee was a penalty. Was a penalty. penalty. Okay. Holding the basket. Holding the basket. Penalty. It's a, it's a third penalty now, isn't it? What's the? What did he said? Penalty. Stop the clock. Okay. Stop it. Okay, thank you. Penalty <laughs> holding the basket. <laughs> Approximately is good for me. <laughs> All right, so another penalty. Penalty are always uh, something special to watch. And here we go against uh, USA is defending in this game and uh, Norway is attacking. And this Norwegian player is not coming from above. He's going fast uh, down under and he's going in. And Ten. another goal. So we had uh, three penalties, Finish. and the game is over. And yep. all three. Uh, Zero over. for Molde. Game over.